welcome back students we were seeing the topic digestion in humans so let's continue our topic now after digestion in mouth the food enters through uh, the esophagus with the help of pharynx so the respiratory tract and the digestive passage meet the pharynx they separate the posterior to the pharynx to the form the esophagus and trachea so pharynx as a common acts as a common pathway pathway of food and air now in the mouth the food is mixed with saliva which is called as bolus and through peristalsis movement what happens this esophagus moves from mouth to stomach so peristalsis refers to the rhythmic contractions that move food in the gut so peristalsis movement is mainly performed by the esophagus you can say mainly this elementary conducts the food from esophagus to the anus okay so this peristalsis movement is not only performed in the uh, not, is not only performed by the esophagus but also in the intestine so that the food can be pushed forward okay now the internal organs are lined by smooth muscles which bring about this movement at a very slow pace so many times what happens vomiting occurs it is due to reverse peristalsis movement that means the food comes in reverse direction to the mouth next the food enters into the stomach this is as you can see this is the esophagus through esophagus the food enters into the stomach because this is the mucous membrane lying there are many layers of cell inside the stomach this part of stomach is called as duodenum and this is called as pylorus so the stomach stores up to 2 liters of the food various gastric glands within the stomach are produced in the secretion which is commonly they are called as gastric juice so these gastric glands start producing gastric juice as soon as the food enters into the stomach and these gastric juice mainly contains hcl mucus and inactive proteins now the muscular walls of the stomach contract vigorously to mix food with the gastric juice just like producing a mixture so now after combining after combining of this food with the mixture in the stomach that food is called as chyme as we have seen when the food is combined with saliva it is called as bolus similarly when food gets combined with the gastric juice in the stomach it is called as chyme next comes the gastric juice so gastric juice contains pepsinogen which is converted is converted into pepsin which digest the proteins that means proteins are converted into peptones okay now these proteins are converted into peps, uh, pep, peptones with the help of pepsin and this pepsin is an active enzyme which is activated by pepsinogen pepsinogen is an inactive enzyme with the help of hcl it gets activated into pepsin that is an active enzyme this active enzyme converts pep uh, proteins into peptones or you can say peptides so hcl converts pepsinogen into pepsin which break down the proteins into peptides and it also dissolves food and kills other microorganisms high ph leads to the killing of microorganisms now mucus protects the stomach from hcl and pepsin the mucus layer present in the stomach which protects the stomach uh, layers you can say from the hcl or the high ph after digestion in the stomach the food is converted into semi solid mass i have told you which is called as chyme now this acidic chyme travels into the duodenum through the pyloric sphincter now the food is pushed into the duodenum now secretion of gastric juice seeing smelling tasting or thinking about the food can result the secretion of gastric juice that means mostly when you get hungry uh, by smelling or tasting you feel eager to eat so that is due to uh, that result into the secretion of gastric juice gastrin is an hormone that stimulates the stomach to secrete the gastric juice next comes the ulcer ulcer is an irritation many times you have heard that there are ulcers formed in the uh, stomach or in the duodenum so that is nothing but an irritation due to the gastric juice penetrating the mucus lining of the stomach that means when this gastric juice which is high in ph it enters 
the lining of stomach as you can see here and start destroying or you can say start causing the damage starts causing the damage here so that irritation is called as an ulcer so students in this session we have seen the digestion in the stomach in further session we will have a more detailed look